Yes. So, one of the most attractive people I've seen naked is Scrappy Doo. <laughs> yes. That, that was the thing you told me <laughs> and provided zero context. <laughs> And I was left, uh, we were at the gym, I was left running on the treadmill, having not even the slightest clue as to how to process that statement. <laughs> Get away from there. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> <You> asshole. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, I, I, I know a story I want to tell. Mm. Um, I'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, that's fine. Remember, this is Blossom Tales Part 3? Three? 3? Three? 3 sound good? 3 I sound good. good. I, I, I have no idea what we did last time. Yeah, I don't time. remember. Uh, according to legend, Flary Clover is only found inside Runestone Temple. Place even the druids are afraid to enter? Oh boy! Careful, Lily. Alright. Oh, you do that. So, I was uh, talking to my friend Alan. Or, I'm sorry, we should give him a pseudonym so people don't know his actual name. <laughs> I guess um, I'd bleep that out. <laughs> about, uh, oh, what's a good name for him? Nala? <laughs> Josh? <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate my first one better. <laughs> no, that was good. Oh, man. Yeah, you, you have no idea what this stuff is for. Yeah, scroll. 200 gold for silver. It's really odd. You want to, okay, I was going to say, yeah, smash more pots. But, I can't afford anything. Well, yeah, but earn money, man. It's all good. I still really like your spin. Yeah. Um, I was talking to him, and <laughs> we were chatting, and I, and I had this one particular line that made him giggle a lot, and I told you it today, but I didn't tell you the story, just yeah. as a tease. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, listener, viewer, friend, um, we don't have a term for D2E fans because there really is a need for one. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like trying to think of like what I even call you. The D23s. Resurrected <laughs> flower. Good. Good so stuff. one of the most attractive people I've seen naked is Scrappy Doo. <laughs> yes. That that was the thing you told me <laughs> and provided zero context. <laughs> And I was left, uh, we were at the gym, I was left running on the treadmill, having not even the slightest clue as to how to process that statement. So now, Andrew, if you would please regale us with the story of how that makes any fucking sense. Alright, so a couple of years ago, when I worked in uh, upstate New York, I worked for a hotel, and they would have these uh, mascotted characters, they had some of their own characters, and then they had to deal with uh, the people at Scooby-Doo. Whoa, hang on a sec. I'm Jennifer, or Jen for shy, or J Doc, J Drizzle, J to the Pizzo, Little J, Jiggy J, J J, what is? Alright, <laughs> moving on from that. That sure happened. Uh, and they had their like own character, like um, like Francis Foxy and Friends, and there was yeah, the Wolf, and Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> All these characters y'all know and love. No one loved, but then there was Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. And one time they were like, hey, we, we need someone with an amazing voice and uh, a little bit of charisma to fill in for the DJ who's not here. And they're like, ah, Andrew, you're kind of funny. So, <laughs> <laughs> the glowing review there. Yeah. Uh, could you just go up there, read these lines, you know, keep the show moving and um, talk to the girls who are in the mascotted co costumes and they'll fill you in. So they sent me to this room and when I get into the room, there's these girls changing. I turn the other way and I'm like, you know, I'm here to fill in uh, for so-and-so as DJ. And they're like, ah, no, you don't have to look away. We don't care. We get changed all the time. We're actors. 
And I was like, okay. I turned back around and they started giving me the instructions of what I need to do, how I need to use the thing. I was like, iPod. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm old. Um, and play the playlist, different things to say. And like, if people get in trouble, here's some like little like uh, pro tips to get the kids who might swarm certain characters. Yeah. Yeah, little stuff like that. So we're, we're just talking, and then Scrappy Doo like enters the room, who you know a little shorter than, than me, obviously, even in the mascot outfit. And Scrappy Doo just like unveils the giant head comes off of Scrappy Doo, yeah. and it is just like this super attractive French Canadian blonde woman <laughs> without clothes on. And I was like, is it common for you guys not to wear things? And they are like, no, nah, that's just what she does. <laughs> it's her thing. So, and like, after this, like, weirdness happens again, I was just feeling in a normal day, working behind the desk like I normally did at the hotel at the time. Yeah. I got pushed into this room out of nowhere, had this weird conversation happen to me with these other people around my age who um, are getting dressed and, like, wanted me to look, I guess. I don't know. And we just wanted to chat up. Then, a few minutes after that, I'm standing behind, like, a lectern with my microphone, uh, iPod, and I'm trying to, like, do the, Hey, welcome to Six Flags Great Escape. We're going to have the biggest dance party ever. And then, you know, hit the Lady Gaga song. Yeah. That was popular at the time. Which one? And, um, Any of them? Does it really matter? I imagine it was probably the Let's Dance one, but... It was a weird playlist, some old stuff, some new stuff, and apparently I did a good job because I, I was asked to be, like, the uh, permanent replacement if in case something happened to the DJ. So I, I filled in a few times before I ended up switching to working night work, but that was almost a different career for me, folks. I almost went down the road of children's entertainment DJ. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, there you go. That's the story. <laughs> that was a fucking ride right there. <laughs> That's, uh, how's Blossom Towns? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Like that. Cool explosion, too. Yeah. <sighs> so, I'm glad that my brain doesn't associate Scrappy Doo with sex appeal anymore. Oh yeah. Oh no. Deal. Didn't Deal. think that would that would happen. All right, let's drop down here. Uh, that's straight up Zelda. <laughs> Yo. Boy, am am I glad you're here? I was digging for rad druid artifacts with my shovel. <laughs> when my shovel fell down here, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Can I help? Oh, you lay, you lay a bomb there. Yeah. Easy peasy. Not, not there. 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 Not there, there. There. Ha -ha. There. It fell into the chest? Yeah, apparently. This is mine with a shovel. I love it. Whoa. Ha, <laughs> wait, I don't get it. Good job, Lily. Nice uh, shout out. That'd be a game we could do. Uh, shovel Knight. Yeah, totally. Uh, you don't normally see like Link do that, or at least all the way up, but it was just very odd to see her take that pose and okay, ascend to cool. the heavens. Let's see what do we got here. So wait a minute, you found the guy's shovel, but you didn't like give it to him or talk to him? Nope. Okay. That is a slow animation. <laughs> Feather! Yes, the feathers are good. Um, let's try. Did you pick up that damn coin? Yes, I can. And all those. Oh. So now I find, like, these little dark spots and I can dig. Can you dig anywhere? Or can you only dig on those dark spots? You can dig anywhere. Okay. It's just those are, like, where the treasure is. I was just curious if there was, if you could or couldn't. Swing the sword, just twirls. Ah, oh, that's sweet. 
And we are making cash. Yeah. It's a pretty efficient way to do things. Alright, so let's... Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I got a thing. Honey. Sunshine in a bottle. Makes Lily invulnerable for a while. Oh, that's cool. I've got sunshine in a bottle. Justin Timberlake's. Boo! Yeah, Dang. throw it to where he's going, not to where he was. I can just throw it in the <laughs> Good timing. Alright, let's go up. Pretty sure we just go up like two screens and then there. Ooh. Or two boards, as our friend Nala would say. <laughs> you know, it's so ba bad when you're with someone who does that, but, uh, because you'll start doing it, but you know what's worse than that? What? Is Nala has children who are much younger than us, significantly younger than us, who refer to, like, ah, that Mario board. Yes. And I'm, like, playing, like, freaking Mario Odyssey. <laughs> like, uh, uh, Nice. Hey, I don't get too annoyed because I find it as like a cute thing. It's like when people call a remote a clicker or something. Impressive amount of exploding. Yeah, that's crazy. You're just killing some guys just to do it. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's like, I'm just looking to see if any of them drop anything interesting. Yeah. Those feathers seem to be valuable, so. Well, you're halfway there, buddy. Oh, well, you got them. I'm gonna stand. There's magic power? Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, yeah. Got him. Nice. Alright, so, map. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much there. Let's go up this I here. was intimidated by the size of that map, but we're filling it in pretty fast. Uh, what? I oh, can't throw upstairs. That's right. Here. I always hated that animation. Anyway. Oh, hey. Hey, Deco Tree. <laughs> Jesus, really. Tree Lord. Hello, young knight of the world. Us tree spirits were here long before your kingdom came to be. Uh -huh. That's That's it. <laughs> but now our days are numbered thanks to a wicked outsider and his dark magic. Here, take this spiritual stone of the fall. I mean, I mean, the. Magic's precious right. stone. Since we're, we're, we're mocking this, and I get that, I, I have a quick question for you. Yes. Which is your favorite Deku tree? That's a tough one. I know, that's why I asked it. Um, Ocarina of Time one is really memorable because you get to go like inside. Yeah. Wind Waker one's good. That's the one I was going with. Wind Waker one, I think, is my favorite. I, I like, like the, his design. Yeah, I like the design of the Breath of the Wild one, too. Yeah. He's not as strong as... Like, the Wind Waker one is just cute. That's true. Okay. Breathe them from his cold drip... Grip? <laughs> his cold drip. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I shall reward you if not I fear the time of this tree spirit to an end soon. Uh, oh. Only the tree lord was able to resist your wizard's influence. I, I didn't mean to fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, I need to go. Oh. I don't think you can go behind him. Yeah. You can use your cat. Oh, no. No, not that way. There's no cracks in the wall that I can see. They, they like to hide stuff behind stuff, so that means. Oh, there's a little treasure trove I can dig up. <laughs> Yay! Get hell of So, I guess we have to pick another way around. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Alright. Let's uh, follow this path here. Bump, bump, bump. Boom. Nice. Boom. Double nice. Oh man, you get a feather. Hmm. It does, but it's interesting. There's like Is a it a G? Thing. Go this way, maybe there's a thing I can do. Well, that's how you can cut down trees. I don't know if you can cut down a tree that big. I mean, I wouldn't know. I've never played this game before. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I, 
You're speaking very confidently. Come on. Yeah. yeah it's, it's just like that thing where the bomb lasts a little longer than you think it's gonna. That's fair. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting better with throwing those things. You definitely do it better with the fuck off throws. <laughs> and then he proceeds to gently place it by the guy. Yeah, I, I uh, mistimed that just a tiny bit. Yeah, it was my fault. I complimented you. Oh god. Whoa! For fuck's sake. Panicking, but you're you're on a different level. No, I'm not. Well, not from his attack. Yeah, from your bomb. Fuck off. Fuck off. But you're gonna hear that a lot. <laughs> Fuck, off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah. Oh man, we almost hit our feather quota. Yeah, we're getting some ass. Not that we know what that does. No, I know what it does. You really? get, you get, um, the, you meet a guy in the dru druid thing, and you collect enough feathers for him, and he will give you arrows. Oh. Or he give, puts arrows to the castle so you can buy arrows. Okay. That would be nice to have. Oh, man. Dingus. The wizard over is teleporting around. Ha! Nice. Got him. Alright, cool. It's 20 out of 20. Let's look at the map. You can go left, or I can go up here. <laughs> and see this. Oh, I'll just come back later. Oh. Alright, loot? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Destroy everything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Nothing. <laughs> I thought it would like it was like oh you can get this here um you can get this here magic thing and uh -huh. like upgrades your shield or something. Sure. I guess that's a shield shop you go to later. Huh. Bloop. Cool. That is a very earthbound sound. Yeah. Something I found. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a game I'm looking forward to doing. Um, yep. We're definitely going to tackle that series. We do some like light grinding off camera, but for the most part, we string a bowl and pump. Ooh. Ooh. Eight nights were already there, but they couldn't get inside. What are they, dummies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sort of. You see, there was a trick to getting the stone door open. Side already. <laughs> All the runes still do is make weird sounds when we hit them. Let's talk more swinging. We'll figure this out soon enough. This is a very oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> they are they are apt already. Yeah, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> no one stands a chance against a disciple of Crocus. Ow. A puny recruit resists my spell. Even if you made it inside, you wouldn't get far. We will destroy anyone seeking the legendary ingredients. All hail Wizard Crocus! Oh, uh, okay. And he just... Oh, it's Simon. Yes, it's definitely Simon. Uh, one time, when I was working at Radio Shack a couple of years ago, yeah. Do you remember the Simon game that was for sale? I'm going to talk to you about it and distract you from this. 
Yeah. Um, my favorite thing about it was it was like a cheap version of Simon for like five dollars that you could just buy around Christmas. Yeah. And uh, good job. And uh, it had like this big, you know, like a lot of times they had like the comic font with like bow, wow, with the, like little squiggly lines around it. Yes. So this one had written in like huge, all caps, red, bold text, with limited gameplay. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> it still just cracks me up. Can you imagine advertising your game like that? Which is true of all games, but I just love that. As a feature. Uh, the red G's fall. I, I want to be able to throw those diagonally, but I know I can't. Uh, what was that okay. throw? I was trying to throw it up, and then I missed. Okay. <laughs> Decent explanation. He's just using a woodman's leaf shield on you over and over. Ow! Just brute force it. Yeah, you took a beating. Yeah, I did. Those guys are tough. They're yeah. kind of tough to deal with. Okay. Um, just get out of Boys. here. Get out of here. Something dropped. Yeah, it was weird. Trivia trips. All right, Dustin. Uh, I guess I probably should have done this before you entered the dungeon, but yeah. uh, we saw the opening room and we saw a little bit of this rat spinning room. I'm gonna say, let's end this episode. All right. Uh, this was the Andrew tells a weird story, and Dustin, you know, throws bombs at rocks episode. Yeah.